Hey everybody, I'm Garrett Fuller with MMORPG. I am here with Matt Fayor, one of my all-time favorite people in MMOs. And I never get to see him enough, and uh, he only lives a few hours away, but we'll get past that. Um, East Coast for the win. Yes, see that? East Coast. Um, Matt, obviously, is, is running the studio with Elder Scrolls Online, and he's been pretty busy lately, um, as everybody knows. But uh, you made an announcement today that I don't think anyone's really heard yet. And it's really cool, and I think it's something everybody's going to be excited about. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the progression when you get to the end game kind of stuff? Yeah, we uh, we announced today that um, part of our end game um, content, and of course we don't really have an end game. So, but <clears throat> once you hit level fifty and you end the content in your alliance, you can go on and you can play the content in both the other alliances. So think about it like. Um, your, once you hit max level, you can then have uh, hundreds of hours more of play time to go through and explore. So you can basically explore all the, all the area that's, that's available in game. I think that's huge, right? Because I know, I know for um, a lot of us, we were kind of going back and forth between uh, you know, Hammer, Hammerfell faction mm -hmm. and, uh, and, the, and the Ebonheart faction. But now, like, as those factions, like, as a Dark Elf, I can go really cause havoc in Eldamiri Dominion and, all that kind of stuff. That's <laughs> yeah. my way of looking at it. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and of course you're still a member of your original alliance, mm -hmm. and the version of it that you're playing is a special high-level version of it. And the monsters are leveled, and the, uh, the enemies are leveled, but the quests are the same, but the rewards have been leveled to, to level 50 level. And um, when you get to the third alliance, after you do two of them, then you start getting really good loot as you play through. So um, in, 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 instead of making like special below ground areas where you go and grind out gear, why not just let the whole world be explorable to high level players and then it's higher level for you when you get there because the game knows that you're already above level 50. Sure. I, I think that's great that you're actually scaling the loot that way too. I think that's really neat because it, it gives you such a... Uh, it, it, like you said, I mean, Elder Scrolls is always about content. It's always about exploration, and you kind of threw the dart and nailed both of those in one shot uh, by opening this up for players. Yeah, it was uh, it, it was a pretty easy decision, especially because we had the ability to make different copies of different zones and assign different level ranges to them. And it's not quite that easy, but that's generally like <laughs> like it is. And you know, it, it lets us make content that we love and that's great, and one player can play through all of it without needing to roll an all. Yeah, I mean, obviously we'll support alts because that's, sure. that's part of MMOs. But sure. if you want to have one one character and go through the game and have all your achievements in one place and everything in one place, you can do that. I, I think it's great. I think it, I think the players are gonna love it. Actually, is, is what I think. Because I know even for us, we were like, man, you know, there's all a whole third of the game that you're not gonna get to see. You know, two thirds, two thirds. <laughs> yeah, two thirds of the game you're not gonna get to see, and now you're gonna get to see it, which is uh, which is cool. So the other thing you guys have shown, and uh, every person here, Nick Wheeler. They're all about the progression system and about the builds and about the PvP and the AVA and, and uh, so so you, you guys really seem to have mastered a very open system. Uh, tell us about it. Um, well, basically, it's it's modeled on an Elder Scroll system where the more you use something, the better you get with it, mm. and you're not really reined in. Uh, with a lot of restrictions. So yes, you choose a class when you start, but it's a very, uh, we're kind of really trying to trying to make the class choice not, not quite so important as yeah. it is in other MMOs. So um, in fact, I think when you start, you have 15 skill lines, your, all your weapons, your armor, your mm -hmm. racial, and your class. Like you can choose not to progress in any of your class lines right from the beginning and just go right with weapons and be a weapon master instead of uh, you know what, um, the class skills. Yeah. So we're really de-emphasizing them that way. Um, and in fact, probably you've asked the other guys what their favorite builds are. Yeah, that's and, and every, topic. <laughs> and, and everyone has a different one. Yeah. And it's like, and everyone loves it. Like mine is a, a heavy armor wearing uh, dragon guard, dual wielding with 100% magicka. Right. So I cast a lot of spells, but I'm in heavy armor, but I'm dual wielding. So I do a, an insane amount of damage. And I do die some, but uh, <laughs> but uh, but I do a lot of damage, and I'm um, you know I can escape sometimes, but it, it's it's a good build for me. Probably not so good at PvP, but it's great for PvE. Right. And you know this is what beta testing is about. It's it's kind of putting these these builds together, putting them out in the battlefield, both PvE and PvP, and figuring out how they work. I think that's the greatest part. I, I know, uh, like I said, everybody kind of has their favorite, and I, I think it's cool that even though you do have the classes in the game initially, you, you really are de-emphasizing. I, I, I said earlier, I was playing as a, as a sorcerer today with a sword and dagger, and I was sneaking around, but I, and I had the spell support, but I was also really, I got into the idea of being a weapons master. Yeah, the two-handed sorcerer yep. is, is a, a favorite, especially when you can teleport in 
do some damage and teleport out. To oh man, the escape in. clause, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good out. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, you know, we've seen the project uh, back in October. We see it again now in March, and, and we saw it, in, you know, over the summer E3. It has come it leaps and bounds uh, from where we saw it initially. So, so where are you looking over the, the design cycle over the next few months in, into the end of the year? Well, what you got to play today is really. Uh, version 1.0 of those systems that you played. Right. So you didn't get to play PvP, it's not quite there yet. Right. You saw it, you saw a live test. But uh, uh, PvE, leveling, progression, crafting, all of that is at like 1.0 level. It needs right. to go into beta, we need to have players beat on it. Um, it's, but it's the experience. So yeah. you played the experience, so yeah. look at it that way. You saw the art quality, you yep. saw the animation quality, you saw how uh, enemies can kind of fight you in, a, in an intelligent manner. Sure. Uh, you saw a lot of mud crabs. And, uh, a lot of mud crabs. <laughs> <laughs> but wolves. <laughs> and, and wolves. But, uh, but, you know, so that's the game experience. So yeah. that's what, what we have. So yeah. we're very, we're confident now we have the game experience. So we're in beta now. We've had beta tests already. Um, we're going to ramp those up over the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. uh, we're playable on the floor at PAX East next week. That's um, going to be awesome. Yeah. So that, that's a big deal for us. It's the first yeah. time players can just walk up and play the game. And yeah, and they can say whatever they want about it. There's, you know, no NDAs. So uh, um, we're very, very, very excited uh, to to be able to do that. And really, our, our mantra now is we're really done talking about the game. We want yeah. people to play it and and tell other people what they think. Sure, about it. sure. So beta's going to ramp up. Uh, that's really going to determine where we are. We all know that. Um, so you know, probably by the end of the summer, we'll have enough people in the game that we can test our social systems, and uh, then we'll start figuring out, getting into mass testing numbers, and see where we are. Yeah, I think that's great. I think I think players at PAX East are going to be really excited because you know, it's from what we've seen, and it's in a couple of days. Uh, it's going to be good. You're on a panel too. Just so everybody knows. I've been told I'm on a panel. <laughs> it's a pretty important one. <laughs> it's hard. Um, but uh, but I, I think I think like you said, what we've seen today, I think players are gonna get their hands on it and get really, really excited about it. Um, it I, overall, um, in, in terms of final thoughts, I mean, how are you doing? That is I mean, you you're gonna see a lot of fans, you're gonna get hit with a lot of people in the next couple of months, especially with E3 and, and packs and playable and um, Gamescom and you gotta you got a little bit of a tour this summer. <laughs> <laughs> we do, but you know, we signed up for that. So yeah, yeah. Um, the reaction that we get from uh, our smaller beta tests, and of course from press events like this, really give us a good idea of where we are so we know what to expect. Sure. To get to that. So um, I'm really excited to have other people play the game. You know, we, we, we've been working on this for a long time. A lot of people talk about the game on the internet. You know, now mm -hmm. they can actually get to play it. So. Um, I'm looking forward to that, and I'm not just talking about PAX East, you know, there's E3, there's Gamescom, you yeah. Know, you know. Yeah, a lot uh, of public events. Yeah, yeah. we're going to do the, the, the whole circuit, so. Awesome, awesome. Matt, we can't thank you enough uh, for My taking pleasure. time. And, and like I said, the guys, the, you know, everybody on the site loves the game. We, everybody's, Bill's very upset he's not here, you know, I got I to hear about it. Um, but anyway, it's been awesome today. Thanks so much for having us today. My pleasure. All right, guys, check us out on MMORPG. Thanks again to Matt and Elder Scrolls Online. He, he said the word beta. Everyone heard it. So. <laughs>